Hey YouTube, this is New York Half Ass Prepper. I have an update. I actually won't call it an update, I'll just call it news about the SAFE Act. Um, this document was leaked yesterday. Uh, I'm sorry I didn't get the video out right away. And this is from the New York State Police Office of Division Council. And it is a guide to the New York SAFE Act for members of the state police. And uh, it just came out yesterday, it was just leaked out. And it is basically the instructions for the state troopers on how to enforce the SAFE Act. Now, there's a whole bunch of stuff in here, and uh, I suggest everybody read it, but you have to keep in mind that this was written by their asshole lawyers. This is not the actual law. This is how their asshole lawyers suggest that the state police enforce the law. And uh, there's a big section about the... Uh, the statewide database and because they expect us to register these firearms and all of this stuff but um, the one thing that I'm very upset about and I don't even know I have, I'm gonna have to go back and reread the law again to see if this is actually in there uh, let's see if I can get to get find it here bottom of page 12 if a person becomes ineligible to hold a pistol permit the SAFE Act requires the person to surrender all firearms to police, including all rifles and shotguns for which no license or registration is required. Now, that to me is completely unconstitutional. Um, and as you know, all, all you New Yorkers uh, can sound off on this. Um, you can be ineligible for a pistol permit for a variety of reasons. Um, some of them are not criminal, like uh, just purely administrative. You know, not updating your address. You move to a different county. Um, and they're telling you that you're going to have to turn in all of your firearms, including firearms that a permit is not required for. So that's kind of uh, hokey, and it says that it's required under the SAFE Act. I'm going to have to reread the SAFE Act and see if that's actually in there. Um, but basically it goes into all of the aspects of the SAFE Act, and there's a lot of language in here about... Um, law enforcement officers active and retired where they stand on the um, the uh, enforcement of the SAFE Act. Now this was, uh, I found this on the, I'll put the link down below, but it's uh, available online and there's a radio station out in Buffalo that was able to get their hands on this and they made it public and the uh, lawyers that are uh, challenging the SAFE Act are all over this. They're all over this thing because uh, there's a lot of stuff that they intend to do and by putting this out, they're telling me that basically this is going to be a gun grab. It was designed to be a backdoor uh, gun banned on a lot of uh, different firearms. And uh, it's only a matter of time before they, you know, they want everything to be registered. They want to know about every firearm so they can run over there to your house and take them all away from you. That's what this, this crap is about. And... Uh, you know, then they're going to go after the pistol permits and say, oh, you know, we're going to find all of these ineligible people for all of these stupid reasons. And then they're going to come to their houses and going to take all of their firearms. And uh, as I understand, they, they did it once, they tried it once with a guy named David Lewis upstate, up in Erie County. Uh, they said, oh, you're ineligible, you took some medication or whatever. And they came and they took all his firearms away and they took all his ammunition all his accessories and all of his holsters and so forth away from him also. Uh, I believe that that's been resolved. He's, I believe the guy got everything back. Um, but just to show you that the lengths that they're going through to get your firearms off the street and out of your hands. So that's it. All you New Yorkers, sound off. Uh, if you can, donate to uh, SAFE, uh, NRA, Gun Owners of America, or the uh, New York State Pistol and Rifle Association. Uh, those are the big guys, uh, mainly scope. Get a sign on your lawn so you let your neighbors know how you stand about the Second Amendment. Uh, I think scope is selling them on their website, and you can go to, uh, I know my local gun store has them. You can go up there and get the things. Um, so that's it. New York FS Prepper, I'm out.